To get started, I'm in the editing tab and I just added a clip to my timeline that I'd like to add some horizontal scrolling text. Now let's begin by selecting the text tool and click anywhere in the preview. Then you can either start typing the text you'd like to scroll or if you're like me, you can just paste some in. Once you've entered your text, I recommend dragging the end of your text clip to set a duration to however long you want your text. Scroll to play for. After that, be sure to click your cursor inside of your text and use Control a keyboard shortcut to select all of it so you'll be able to format it later. Next, let's go over to Effect Controls and expand the text dropdown so you can see all of its format settings in here. You can do all kinds of text formatting, like changing its font and size. To keep this brief, I'll just increase the size of mine a bit. I'm also going to click this checkbox next to background to give it a black background, which will make my text more readable. Okay, I'm done formatting my text. So if we go a little further down, you'll see this position setting under transform. First click and hold on the position's second value and drag it to the right to move your text to the bottom of your screen. Mine worked fine, but it can be a little finicky, so if this gives you trouble, you can also use a selection tool to reposition your text. Next, drag the position's first value to the right so that your text is just off the right side of the screen. Now click the stopwatch next to position to create a starting keyframe for the scrolling animation. Then move the playhead and effect controls to when you want the scroll to be finished by drag the position's first value to the left to bring your text back onto the screen and keep dragging it until it's just off the left side of your screen. Okay, now when I play this pack, I have my horizontal text scroll, but it's going a little fast to slow it down. Simply move the second keyframe further from the first one. Conversely, you can speed it up by moving the second keyframe closer to the first one. All right, this time when I play it back, I have some nice looking horizontal scrolling text. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.